Hi there, Steve with Open Flight with a very quick video. I've had a few people ask more or less where is it that you put the flight box and the uh, and the engine monitor and all that. So just to kind of show you, on this RV this is a tipper which makes it really easy to kind of see where the avionics are because there's the panel here and then behind that there's the sub panel. Um, we actually mounted the air data computer over there on the left hand side of the sub panel. In the middle we kind of repaired some <laughs> some cutouts that had been made in the sub previous sub-panel um, by adding this sort of uh, add-on layer. And there we see the engine monitor. I've got that uh, popped open for some diagnostics. And then over there is the Flightbox Pro uh, EXP. And then over to the right you'll actually see this cluster. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but that's actually the, uh, the set of two um, USB hubs into which we're running all of the USB cables from the engine monitor, the air data computer, uh, there's one that's feeding uh, the uh, NMEA outputs to the autopilot. There's one that's sending uh, Icarus altitude code to the transponder. Um, uh, there's uh, oh, one going to each of the two comm radios. So there's uh, quite a few little things that are going in and out. Of course, also the, the, the GPS connects through that uh, set of USB hubs. So uh, the process of installing it really is just a matter of plugging it in on one end, and then over on the other end, you'll... Uh, hard to see but if you look in here you can kind of see where there's these uh, these two jacks here and these are just uh, modular jacks they're actually like RJ12 uh, jacks um, from the old landline phone days um, and that makes it really really easy to connect it up and if you need to adjust the length of the cable you simply cut it short and then crimp on another end using a like a five dollar crimping tool from Lowe's um, so simple pretty much anybody can do it so that is how the, uh, the flight box, the um, air data computer, the engine monitor, and the USB subsystem all fit into this uh, airplane. Thanks.